We next talk about heat clearing herbs. A very common heat clearing herb is your old friend, the chrysanthemum flower, Ji Hua. This is pungent, slightly bitter, and a little bit cold. It is used to expel wind heat or foam drip, and it clears the liver heat. It is used to treat common colds due to wind heat, but it's also very good for clearing internal liver heat, uh, which sometimes produces red eyes. Chrysanthemum can be used also to lower and control blood pressure. There are two varieties generally, the yellow chrysanthemum and the white chrysanthemum. The yellow flower is more effective for expelling wind heat, which is what we call exterior kind of heat or fondre, which often happens with common colds. The white flower is for more for internal heat, clearing internal heat due to arising from heat in the liver, and which can produce red eyes. So there's a slight distinction between the two that uh, we should bear in mind. Another herb for clearing heat, which most people don't take directly, but in another formulation called Ying Chao San, is called the honeysuckle flower or the Jin Ying Hua. Jin Ying Hua is sweet and cold. It uh, dissipates internal heat and it has some detoxification function. It is anti-inflammatory and it also can be used to treat ulcers and sores and carbonacles. It is used in, as I said, in this formulation called Ying Chao San, which is used often for uh, colds and fevers arising from colds. Uh, it uh, has a heat clearing effect. It's, uh, its heat clearing effect is stronger than for the Chi Hua or Chrysanthemum flower. Another herb for clearing heat commonly used in Chinese medications is called uh, the self heal fruit spike or the Xia Ku Chao. This herb is pungent, bitter and cold. It improves vision by dissipating liver fire, uh, which rises and sometimes causes red eyes, sore eyes, dry eyes, dizziness and headaches. It's very good for clearing heat toxins and reducing swelling, so it's often used for sores and ulcers. But we have to be careful because it is quite cold, quite a cold herb. Uh, it can harm a stomach that is weak or, a, or the spleen and stomach that is weak and which tends to be on the cold side. So it should be used uh, carefully and in moderation. Chuan Xin Lian is uh, a common herb. You can buy them in medicine shops in the form of pills or tablets. Uh, it is good for clearing heats and toxins and uh, often used for, dry, uh, for sore throats. The other common root is Pan Lan Ken, uh, also good for sore throats and heat. In fact, during the SARS period some years ago, uh, people believed that Pan Lan Ken was good for treating SARS or preventing SARS, and the stock of Pan Lan Ken was running out in medicine shops. A third herb for clearing heat is called Ma Chu Xian, or English word for it is purslane. It is used to control bleeding especially during menstruation and bleeding in stools and urine but this bleeding is due to excessive heat. It's also useful for controlling blood sugar. Uh, in fact, purslane is the main ingredient in a food supplement that you can buy in some health food shops called Glucocontrol. Control.